also, if I can get out here, this is a video of my courtyard. So I'm going to start as a whole view, but let's start over on this side first. So this is one of our sunflower plants that's still left over. As you can see, we still have a lot of work, but this was nothing when I first started it. These trees were absolutely massive when we cut them all back and grew them, but we do have some smaller flowers that are coming in. So we use part of the grant money to buy some, uh, some seeds. The hosta there at the end of the season, again, it's the end of the season. The kids love putting these in here. So these are lovely little butterfly ornaments that we put in the ground over here. Um, we do have a Rose of Sharon that's growing back here in the back corner. We did make these, um, fortunately this is something we got to touch them up for the spring, but we did make some of these bug hotels for the bugs to give them a lovely environment to live in over the winter. And this was nothing when we first started. So we had a rototiller come in and as you can see, we have a little bit of flowers that have still alive with us now um, along the way. These were some massive sunflowers that we had dug out. In this corner, unfortunately, everything is gone, but this is our pollinating corner that we have over here. So we have a whole bunch of pollinating plants. We have these small planters that we built actually in class, which are really cool. So we have raspberries on that side and strawberries on this side. Part of our grant, and there's part of our, one of our, so grant was used for some resources. So there's one of ours. So the wagon is upside down. We have a great little pond as part of our ecosystem in here. So it is very slimy at the end of the year, unfortunately. When we did start the process, we were very lucky in the fact that we had a greenhouse that was available to us, but the greenhouse was absolutely empty. So we have put in a concrete floor. We have a barrel for water in the corner so that we can keep our stuff a little bit warmer. We've done whole plastic wrap on the roof all the way around. Um, we have uh, These are our watermelons because we're supposed to drop down about two degrees over the weekend. So we have our watermelons that are in here continuing to ripen. These are all of our sunflower heads that we harvested. So these are our massive sunflower heads and we've pulled all the seeds out of some of them already, but we've dried them all out so we can plant more sunflowers for next year. So we did use a lot of the grant money, obviously, to buy some of our resources. So we have um, shovels, spades, large size rakes for the kids and for the for our staff as well to be able to help dig our stuff. And then we get to our fun stuff. So here's a part of our harvest for this year, which is awesome. So here we have a couple of our pumpkins that have come out. We have uh, the carrots that are in here. They're the end of the season for the carrots. Some smaller gourds, uh, cabbage that was left on there. We have one pumpkin that is left that is still coming along. And then this is our main garden area that we did. And again, this was a nothing. So we had to build this up totally from scratch. Two seconds. And then the last part of it, the last part of our funding, as you can see, we have a very large industrial air conditioner over here. So we've just planted these row of cedar trees. I call them all the way across here that hopefully by springtime they'll come up another foot or so and we'll have a nice visual barrier so again thank you very much for the funding it has gone to great use the students have had a blast out here last part is we do have uh, bird houses that are all up around the outside about half of them or three quarters of them are inhabited by birds already which is great to see and great to get back to our environment so thank you again and take care